Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We have the fourth phase of an awesome Astral Claw Army which we've been working on for one of our clients over the last couple of years. Uh, really, really cool additions to this army for our clients. Uh, if you are new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our minimum standard, which is our bronze level, which is an above tabletop level, all the way up to plastic Platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, and if you are interested in a commission, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. That link will take you to our contact form. When you hit the contact form, all you need to do is select the relevant drop down options for your commission from those available. And in the message section, put a list of models in our model list format that's shown on there and fire that off to us to get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Astral Claw Army phase in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So as always, let's have a look at the characters from this Astral Claw army phase. And there are four, but I have put an extra Marine in just to round it up and make it look a bit like a command squad, uh, just for you viewers. Uh, so we'll start with the Captain. A uh, really, really cool model. It came from the new command squad kit, which is really nice. Ben's done a stellar job just highlighting everything really nicely and putting all the details on him. Uh, you've got a lovely blended blade here, as you can see, which is really cool. Uh, and then moving around all the Astral Claw livery, so the pads and everything all done with the, with the the uh, transfers and everything. And then we have this lovely Astral Claw um, uh, freehand on the back on the cape. And this lovely blended cape here as well, which is lovely, really, really nice. Uh, moving around, you can see all the highlighting work done on the armor and the gold and the extra little uh, details, like for example, the Astral Claw uh, pads that come from Forge World. Uh, so that's just the captain here, as you can see, which is really cool. Um, then we have uh, Arminus Valthrax, uh, or Valfex, who's a really, really cool character. Uh, loads of awesome details behind him. Uh, go check Check him out on um, either Lexicanum or 4D Channel, whatever <laughs> those sites. Uh, but really, really cool uh, character here, as you can see, just with his massive conversion beam up and these really cool whip things, which are awesome. But loads and loads of details, all fully painted. You've got the Mechanica symbols there, all highlighted in a lovely fashion. Uh, all the little vials and dials and screens and everything fully picked out. So that's just him in a really, really cool fashion. We have an Apothecary here, which is really cool. Awesome, awesome old model, but lovely, lovely details, like all the vials and everything, which is really nice. So that's just him. Uh, and then next up, we have uh, a Severin Loth model that is being used as a librarian for this force. Uh, really, really cool model. Always liked him uh, with his uh, different sort of details and loincloths and other bits and bobs. The axe there, as you can see, blended as well, which is really nice, just with some lightning effects also put on there, as you can see. Uh, so that's just a librarian for this uh, this command squad and then finally I'll move forward and you can have a look at the uh, the marine just an example of one of the marines from this uh, commission which we'll see in the next section um, but there you go just a really really cool pose there just uh, you know don't got enough guns but <laughs> so that's just him uh, so that's all the characters from this force next up we can have a look at all the infantry um, and then there's some various other cool sections which are coming as well so stick around we're back in a second So next up, we have all the infantry and support weapons for this force. Uh, we've got two squads of tactical marines, uh, and then we've got two of the Legion rapier batteries as well, which are really, really cool, uh, obviously with their gunner and also firer. Uh, so we'll start by looking at some of the marines. So just start putting these forward so you guys can check them out, but really, really cool. Obviously, the uh, Astral Core Color Scheme is really cool. The silver and blue, it just complements really nicely with the gold, which is lovely. Uh, and Ben's done a stellar job just painting these to a very, very lovely finish. You can see the lovely complement green lenses in all of these uh, marines which is really nice uh, it's a very good variation of, of armor obviously you've got the uh, the um uh, Mark three armor, and then uh, at the same time as well, we have uh, some some newer heads which you'll see scattered about from various kits. There's a couple of Blood Angel heads in there, a couple of uh, Reaver heads in there as well, which is really nice. So that's just another one of the uh, Marines. Pull forward this chap here, uh, that's kneeling obviously with a melter gun. Really, really cool model as you can see here again, but all the lenses and everything all fully painted, eyes and teeth and everything all done, uh, even though he's got a rebreather on. <laughs> uh, we've got this chap here uh, with a plasma gun there as you can see again, all the eyes, teeth and everything painted, fully highlighted, fully detailed, uh, with that lovely, lovely colour scheme. Plasma obviously done in a very complimentary uh, blue as well. Got this chap here charging forward with a combi flamer, which is really nice. Uh, and you've got this uh, heresy pattern armour here as well, which is uh, Mark V, which is really, really nice. 
Uh, some of the uh, other heads, as I said, mentioned, you've been to see some Reva heads here as well, which just adds a bit of variation to these uh, these models as well, which is really cool. So that's just him. Uh, have a look at the Laz Cannon, so you can have a look at all the lenses and everything that are done as well. Really, really cool scheme. Uh, I do like the silver and blue. Uh, another model in some heresy pattern armor here, as you can see, with uh, really, really cool studs all over him. Uh, again, he's got loads all over him on the legs and also on the shoulders. Uh, and we'll pull forward another chap here that's just running forwards. So again, just getting that to focus so you can have a look at him. Really, really cool models, as you can see. Again, he's just bounding forward there, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and let's have a look at some of the uh, crew for the rapiers. Again, the, all the screens and everything all fully painted there, the lenses and everything done in that complementary green to the armour uh, and the blue. We'll pull forward a rapier battery so you can have a look at that. Again, really cool blue glow on the uh, barrels of the gun and also you've got the transfers all added to the uh, gun shield as well, which is lovely. So that's just one of these rapiers. And just for consistency, I'll pull forward the other one so you can have a look at that as well. Uh, but exactly the same consistency and quality from model to model. Uh, so you get a really, really nice concentric theme across the army. Pull forward one of the sergeants just so you can have a look at him. Uh, again, really, really commanding pose, which is lovely. Uh, obviously, he's got copy flamer as well, which is cool. Uh, and then we'll pull forward one more just with a, a melted gun there, just so you can see him. Again, Mark V Heresy armor, loads of studs all over him as well, which is really nice. So that's just one of the melters. Uh, and that is all the infantry and support weapons from this phase, guys. Uh, up next, we have got the Predator and also the Dreadnought, which are coming up next. See you guys back in a second. And last, but by no means least, we have the Dreadnought and also the Predator from this Astral Claw 4th Army phase. Really cool models. Uh, lasted a test of time, both respectively for the Contemptor and also for the Predator. Really cool kits. Uh, the Predator is magnetized, so you can change all the weapons uh, as well, which is really nice. Uh, but we'll have a look at the Dreadnought first of all, because I do like his pose. He's just bounding forward there, uh, looking like he's going to make someone's day very bad. Uh, you can see Ben's done a stellar job on highlighting all the areas of detail, the lenses and everything. It's got the full Astral Claw transfers and things on it all the um, purity seals have got text on them as well as well as the scrolls across the uh, front of the sarcophagus uh, and then moving around you've got all the lovely lovely dynamic pose here where he's just you know a bit charging forward uh, with the gun swung backwards as well look like he's about to rip someone's face off uh, or something's face off uh, which is really cool so that's just the awesome awesome contemptor here as you can see with a lovely bit of heat bloom there on the barrel as well uh, just to show you a good amount of usage on that assault cannon, uh, which is nice. And I do specifically love the, uh, if I get it to focus, I love the transfers that Ben's put around the barrel as well, which is really, really cool. Or around the gun shield just on that um, on that weapon as well, which is really nice. So that's just the, uh, the contempt. I'll put him over here for the minute. And then we'll have a look at this awesome Predator. Uh, again, really cool kit. I've always loved uh, the humble Predator. Uh, a little bit of weather in there, as you can see on the side of the turret, just to get that to focus. Uh, and a nice integration of and, uh, the bottom of the tank with some you know uh, smoke marks around the stacks as well which is cool all the guns are fully magnetized as well which is really nice and i'll show you a bit of magnetizing in a minute um, but it's all done so that all the weapons are interchangeable uh, which is really nice and that's even on the turret as well so for example just to give you a bit of an idea if you wish to change out the, um, the dual laz you can put the auto cannon just in there and it's fully magnetized so that can just go bang straight onto the turret uh, and with the sponsons as well Exactly the same as well. Uh, so all the sponsors I just showed you, they completely do change so that they are interchangeable, which is a really nice thing. And you can even change the ammo section on the back of the tank as well, which is really nice. Uh, and that just literally just clips straight on there as well, which is really, really cool. So perfect, really, really good. Uh, so that is the um, that is the Predator and also the uh, Contemptor from this army phase. Do hope you like them ever so much, guys. Stick around with to the end of the video to find a little bit more about how you can take a commission out with us here at Siege and see the army all again in all its glory. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking this video out, guys. And I do hope you like this awesome Astral Claw fourth phase, which Ben has completed for one of our clients. I know he had a great time working on the project and has loved all the different phases that we've worked on. Uh, if you are interested in the commission, then very simply, all you need to do, whether it's for a character, an army, a small force, or whatever the case may be, is go into the description of this video and click the link to our website's contact form, which can be found in the description, as I mentioned. Uh, that link will take you to the contact form. You just need to select the relevant drop-down options from those available on there for your commission. And then in the message, 
Usage section, put a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form, and fire that off to us to get the process started. In the description of the video, also you can find all of our social media, so Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please go give us a like and follow on those respectively to keep up to date with all the different things that we're doing as a business and the commissions and all the different things that we do. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, do a couple of things. Number one, give us a subscribe just to keep up to date with all the videos and showcases and things that we do. Secondly, if you do hit the bell icon, you will be up now, up the on all the different videos that go up when they go up so you can keep up to date as it happens. And finally, let us know which is your favourite Space Marine chapter, whether they're loyalist or whether they're a heretic that's fallen to chaos. Let us know and uh, it'd be good to chat to you guys about them in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.